Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of 2 plus the square root of x. This is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Solution, we have square root of 2 plus square root of x. This is equal to, to 2. So the first thing to do here, let's square both signs here. And you find that square root of 2 plus square root of x squared, this is in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times a b. Now, applying this algebraic identity, then here we have square root of 2 squared plus square root of x squared, then plus 2 times square root of 2 times square root of x. This is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now, here we have square root of 2 squared, which you can eliminate the square root sign. So this is 2 plus, here we eliminate the square root sign. So this is plus x, then plus. Now, here we have 2, square root of 2 times square root of x. This is the same thing as square root of 2x. Given that square root of, that is square root of a times square root of b, this can be expressed as square root of a times b. Now, this is equal to 4. Now, we have 2 plus x plus 2, then square root of 2x. This is equal to 4. Now, from here, let's take 2 on the right-hand side, 2 plus x on the right-hand side, so that now here we have 2 square root of 2x. This is equal to 4. Subtract 2, subtract x. So here we have 2 square root of 2x. This is equal to 4 minus 2, which is 2 minus x. The next step here, let's square both signs here, so that now, here we have, if you have a times b squared, this can be expressed as a squared times b squared. Now applying this property, here we'll have 2 squared, which is 4, and then now we'll have square root of 2x squared, this is equal to 2 minus x squared. So this implies here, we eliminate the square root sign. So this is the same thing as 4 times 2x. This is equal to, now 2 minus x raised to power 2, this is the same thing as 2 squared, which is 4, plus x squared minus 4x. So here we have 4 times 2x, which is 8x. This is equal to 4 plus x squared minus 4x. Now, from here, let's take 8x on the right-hand side so that we'll have 4 plus x squared minus 4x minus 8 x this is equal to zero so here we have x squared then minus 4x minus 8x this is minus 12x then plus 4 this is equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c this is equal to zero from this equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, we have that b is equal to minus 12, and we have that c is equal to 4. Now, applying the quadratic formula here, we'll have that x1, comma, x2, this will be equal to minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 
times a times c divided by 2 times a. So substituting the values of a, b, and c, you're going to have minus minus 12 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 12 squared, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 4. All this divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 12, this is 12, plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared, this is 144, subtract 4 times 4, which is 16. All this divided by 2. So here we have 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 16, this is 128. All this divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 12 plus or minus. We can express the square root of 128 as the square root of 64 times 2. All this divided by 2. So here we'll have 12 plus or minus the square root of 64. This is 8. Then square root of 2. Then divided by 2. So from here, we can factor out 2, we can factor out 2 here, so that we'll have 2 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as 6 plus or minus 4 square root of 2, all this divided by 2. Let's simplify here by 2, by 2, so that now here we have 6 plus or minus 4 square root of 2. We have x1 comma x2. This is 6 plus or minus 4 square root of 2. So this implies that x1 is equal to 6 plus 4 square root of 2. This is the first solution. Then we have that x2 is equal to 6 minus 4 square root of 2. The next step here is to verify. Let's verify. Let's verify that these two solutions actually start. Let's verify that x1, which is 6 plus 4 square root of 2, and x2, which is 6 minus 4 square root of 2, actually satisfies the equation. Okay. Now, if you recall, if you recall here, we have that the square root of 2 plus square root of x this is supposed to give us a value of 2. So let's substitute x1. x1 in this case is 6 plus 4 square root of 2. So we have square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus 4 square root of 2. Now this is supposed to give us a value of 2. So here we have square root of 2 plus we can express the square root of 6 plus 4 square root of 2. We can express 6 as 4 plus 2 then plus 4 square root of 2. This is equal to, to 2. Now let's check if this is true. Now from here we have square root of 2 plus square root of now we have 4 plus 2 we can express 4 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2 so this is plus 2 times 2 square root of 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 now from here we can express this 2 2 is the same thing as square root of 4 so we have square root of 2 plus square root of, here we have 4, plus 2, plus, now we can express this 2 as square root of 4, multiplying by square root of 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 2. The next step from here, we can express the square root of 4, plus 2, plus 2 square root of 4 times square root of 2 as 
This is the same thing as square root of 4 squared. If we say square root of 4 squared is the same thing as 4, and then plus square root of 2 squared, which is the same thing as 2, then plus 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now, from here, we have square root of 2 plus. Now, from here, we can express square root of 4 squared plus square root. Actually, this is in the form of a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times a times b, which we can express as a plus b squared. Applying this algebraic identity, then this is the same thing as square root of 2 plus the square root of, we'll have square root of 4 plus square root of 2, everything here squared. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. So let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have square root of 2 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now, clearly, we have square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So this is 2 square root of 2. Then plus square root of 4, this is 2. This should give us a value of value. So you can see this is not equal to. So square root of, that is 2 square root of 2 plus 2. This is not equal to 2. So essentially, this means that x1, this does not satisfy the equation. This does not satisfy the equation. So let's check x. Now let's verify that x2 satisfies the equation. Now we have square root of 2 plus square root of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Substituting here, we'll have square root of 2 plus square root of 6 minus. We have 6 minus 4 square root of 2. This is supposed to be give us a value of 2. The next step is that we have square root of 2 plus we can express 6 as 4 plus 2 minus 4, which is the same thing as 2 times 2, then square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now, we have square root of 2 plus, now here we have 4 plus 2, then subtract. Now, we can express this 2, we can express this 2 as square root of 4. So we'll have 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 2 here. This should give us a value of 2. So here we have square root of 2 plus. Now we can express 4 as square root of 4 squared. We can express 2 as square root of 2 squared. Subtract 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of Two. Now, the next step is that we have square root of 2 plus, now this particular part here, this is in the form of a squared plus b squared, subtract 2 times a times b, which we can express as a minus b squared. So, in this case, we have the square root of 2 plus now, here we'll have square root of, here is square root of 4, subtract square root of 2, squared. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Let's check. Now, let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that here we have square root of 2, plus square root of 4, subtract square root of 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 2. So you can see square root of 2 and square root of 2 simplifies. And square root of 4 here, this is 2, which is equal to, to 2. So this implies that the left add side 
is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, this implies that x2 is the only solution. This is the only solution to this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe.